Bye, Chris. See you later, Rosie. Hello, I'm Chris Hugan. I'm doing uh, Man on the Street for TTV Television. I'm interviewing people about reckless driving. Hello, Wes McConnell. Hi. Um, you wouldn't have happened in the sometime in the recent past to have had any misadventures with reckless drivers, would you have? Yes, as a matter of fact, my cat got hit yesterday morning by a car going in front of my house. Your cat got struck down? Yeah, right there. Ran right over it. I was walking across the street, ran right over it, killed it, broke his back. All I did was just watch and walked across the street and then came back and looked at him. He was twitching on the ground and stuff. It was pretty neat. Did any other people witness this? Oh, yeah, the school bus is right down the street, and all the kids on the bus were staring and laughing and stuff. My God, Wes, that's really terrible. Yeah. How did you deal with this? Well, oh, look, there's someone coming out of that garbage can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what kind of effect did this have? Hello, I'm Zach Stentz, special correspondent for TTV, and I'm here pursuing another lead in the elusive web of mystery surrounding the organization known as the Brotherhood. Ever since our last report on the Brotherhood, approximately a month ago, we've been pursuing leads to try and find more information on the mysterious organization known as the Brotherhood and their relationship to our own Fort Bragg High School. Hey, you know there's no bottom in this garbage can? Okay. Of course. In our last report, we started an investigation on the mysterious Brotherhood, a secret organization dwelling in the unexplored areas of Fort Bragg High and the surrounding area. They have existed as long as the high school has, and the membership includes burnout students, dropouts, and possibly others. They alternately go underground for periods of time, then surface to make their presence known at FBHS. The Brotherhood has infiltrated the staff and faculty and dominates them to such an extent that they have made interviewing them almost impossible, with one notable exception. We found that the Brotherhood gets around campus via an incredibly complex series of secret passages that crisscross the campus. We caught a rare glimpse of an actual Brotherhood member, but were unsuccessful in catching them. I was then myself chased by a Brotherhood member, barely escaping with my life. Observations made in the tunnels pointed to a headquarters located beneath the library steps. But this proved to be just another Brotherhood trick, as a headquarters was nowhere to be seen. That was last show. We knew we were on target by the strong and immediate reaction to the episode. First, though, the denials. Hello, Mr. Turrentine, Zach Stentz, TTV News. We'd like to ask you a few questions about your what, closet. What are, you do, what are you doing here? We'd like to ask you a few questions about your closet over there. What? Well, I don't have a closet. Well, that over there. Oh, my, my cabinet. That's just a, that's just a normal. Does it, these are uh, cabinets that are in all the classrooms. No big deal. Yes, but your cabinet opens up to the Brotherhood's passages. Um, any thoughts on that? What are you talking about? Um, your cabinet has a false back in it. No, it doesn't have a false back. Well, well, can I look in it? Can I look in it? Uh, uh, this is, I don't feel at all comfortable you walking here telling me, asking me if you can look in my cabinet. I mean, I don't oh, okay. We'll take that as a yes, okay? We want to look in your cabinet. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Look in my cabinet. No. Look, my cabinet's messy. It's, it's not that I don't... It's locked, okay? Could you please open up the cabinet? Uh, I don't, I don't think I have the keys with me. Oh, oh, yes, I'm yes. Gonna, uh, 28 keys and, um, none to the cabinet. I don't use it that often. I just happen to have taken that key I off the ring. I think uh, it's at home. What are you hiding from us, Mr. Turrentine? Why are you so nervous about opening that? I have nothing to hide from you. You're, why are you asking so many questions? What are you hiding? We, we're just, we just want to know the truth. We're just trying yeah, to find right. out the truth. You want the truth. You want to look in my cabinet. I don't want you to look in my cabinet. I don't have any obligation to show you what's in my cabinet. I see. A denial. <laughs> You call it denial. I don't have any obligation. What? Let's get this. Thing. Close that thing off here. I'm... Then came the backlash from the administration. Well, Mr. Stens, let me make you an offer you can't refuse. If you don't stop with these foolish fantasies about uh, the administration, I'm going to have to cut off the funding to the uh, Timberwolf TV and Timberwolf Hall all the media, and at the same time, do some damage to the lower extremity of your body. Lou, are you threatening me? Oh, no. 
This is strictly business, Mr. Stan. Strictly business. Uh, you're going to have to leave because I'm a very busy man. Good day. Then came the Brotherhood threats. In light of these events, it became clear that something more than one reporter was necessary to take on the Brotherhood's might. Talent and cooperation were needed. minds and the latest high-tech equipment employed to monitor the Brotherhood's every move. This is a digitized map of the school. These lines right here are suspected Brotherhood passages. These are known passages. We've set up electric eye beams in various strategic corridors so that when the Brotherhood passes by one of them, we'll know and I can go out and try and follow him back to the headquarters. So far we haven't had any luck. Wait, we've got a contact. What's this? Where is it? Sector 5, the gym? Okay, let's go. Well, here we are. This is the entrance to this sector's tunnel area. The Brotherhood member should be in there, somewhere. Let's go see if we can find him. It's pitch black in here. I'm going farther and farther in, and the temperature is rising, and there's a horrible charnel odor coming from farther down the corridor. Oh, oh, there he goes. It's a Brotherhood member. Let's get him. There he is. He's gotten away. I appear to be in some kind of jungle foliage here. Strength. What? How did I get here? And how do I get out? I don't know if this is corny, but hey, might as well give it a try. It worked. Where is this place? Huh. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm with CTV. No, I'll, I'll just be going. No, I'll, I'll just be going. I must have lost him down there somewhere. I took a wrong turn down there in the darkness. I'm not sure exactly where I am right now. I'm going to go back in there and see if I can follow on his tracks.